We're not supposed to drink water. So we we have evolved to drink water. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, I got a whole lecture coming out about this. And I'm not saying you're not supposed to drink water. You are supposed to drink water. I just it's better if you require your water from your fruits than from a live spring. That's what I'm saying. So what's the longest have you went? Acquiring your water through fruits. Water through fruits. Uh, me personally, a whole with, year with and no a half. No water. A whole year and a half. Like I did no drinking water. No drinking water for a whole year. And yes, half. and no kind of infections and nothing. No, it healed my don't it healed, healed my body. Uh, I have a I have an elder right now in P- Panama. His name is Arise Latham. Uh, he haven't drunk water in about forty years. I have another uh, oh, another whoa. elder. Yes, I have another Garrett. Yes, I have another uh, elder that's in Ethiopia. He haven't drunk water in fifty years. So, like, this is this is new to America. This is not new to everybody else. These things mm-hmm. are new to European culture and concepts. But your, your water is supposed to come from your fruit. It's not. Na- it's naturally supposed to come from your fruit. Uh, you have hydrophilic and you have uh, hi- you have hydrophilic and hydrophobia uh, materials that's inside the fruit that actually changes the molecular weight and structure of the water. For instance. Uh, water right now if you walk into the water slowly you will sink right but if you go high in the air and you jump into the water from a high altitude you will hit the water like concrete meaning that water is surfaceless but it has a surface at the same time so it shows you depending on the surface or what you're bringing to the water it changes the structure of the water that's why uh, a plane can fall and crash in the water and break apart but you can go skinny dipping and jump in the water and don't even leave any type of water molecules or particles to go up and you will sink down so depending on the 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 Depending on the speed or depending on the surface that you meet with the surface of the water, it changes the molecular structure of the water. They're talking about H2O, which is a dipole antenna molecule. I'm talking about H3O2, which is a real actual water that, that is highly alkaline and is, is more structured. I'm not talking about drinking bulk water. So what I'm telling people is it is more natural for you to eat your water than to drink your water. Imagine this. Imagine you have to eat your food and then you have to go to a river, a well, a spring to get your water and you got your food and you got your water next to you. But imagine if you go to a tree and you get an apple from the tree and the only thing you do is eat that and you're getting your amino acids, you're getting your fructose and you're getting your water from the same thing. and You don't have to eat multiple things. When you look at it like that from an evolutionary standpoint, that's what I mean is you're better off eating your water than drinking your water. I have a whole presentation on this. I did a whole presentation on this. I'm not the only one that's been saying this. You have uh, Dr. Pollock that's been saying this thing for a long time. You have a bunch of Japanese scientists that have been speaking about this for a long time. There's different types of water. You have bulk water, then you have exclusion zone water. Exclusion zone water, you can either change regular water by enhancing the hydrogen atoms that's in that water and make it H3O2, or you can simply just go get it from your fruits and vegetables and it's already there there and the thing about water the amino acids from the regular water that we've been drinking it has other marine life amino acids in them the actual amino acids that come from fruits and strawberries and they have their own dna and they own amino acids from them you see what i'm saying is there it's, a certain amount that you should be drinking uh, or, I t- or, ta- or taken from the fruit uh so i mean it depends on the fruit you have watery fruits then you have fruits that that, that don't have that high density of water in it for instance romaine romaine is like 89 percent water Cucumbers is 99% water. Uh, uh, coconut, watermelon. Watermelon is, what? but watermelon is 97. What, it, it, look, expect when you actually think watermelon have more or less content than cucumbers, but the watermelon come from the cucumber. The melon family all come from something called the curcubital family. And this is the cucumbers. You're, uh, if you look at a watermelon, a watermelon is a hybrid. I don't care how original you find it because it all comes from the cucumber. The cucumber or the melon family is have has the highest water content. And when you look at the structure of that water, it is not a dipole antenna in there. It's actually what you would call a tripole antenna. And I know it sounds crazy because it's not in your textbooks, but there's many books that speak about this a lot. It's called the fourth phase of water. When you take this water, this water breaks down into H3O. That's the water inside of your body. Now, when you're drinking H2O water, the water then have to change to H3O2, then be converted back into H3O, which is the water that's already in your tissues. It's a difference. That's why if you look at interstitial fluid, it, it's not this liquid, leaky type of water. It's more of a jellified structured water. This is highly structured water. So just thinking about conveniency, thinking about not going against your physical anatomy, not bending down, lapping the water or have to create cups to sop the water and things like that. That's what I mean by it's more natural to go to a tree, 
pick your fruit, bite into it because you not only get your water or your hydration electrolytes. We think drinking a liquid is mean to something. The only reason why we drink the liquids is for electrolytes. That's it. And for minerals. And that's the reason why spring water will do, because spring water goes against a rock bed and it takes the actual minerals from that rock bed and it puts it in the water. Then you drink the actual water and you get those minerals or those mineral oxides from the actual rock. You don't have to do the same thing when you go to a fruit. The minerals already is accumulated from the soil because they go through micro rises type of things. It moves through the tree trunk. The sun hits on it to go through photosynthesis and it changes the structure of the water wise in the fruit. So when you eat a fruit, you get your amino acids, you get your fructose, you get your glucose, you get everything you need when you eat the fruits. You get your minerals, you get your electrolytes. When you're drinking bulk water, you don't get all those essential things. And this is facts. And there is plenty studies showing that you can get intoxicated from too much water consumption. That's the reason why you can't give water to a baby until the baby turns two, because its, it's, biochemi it's biochemical molecular structure is not made for that type of liquid. But guess what you can give a baby? Fruit juice, coconut water. You can get a baby galactose. And matter of fact, what closely is assimilate galactose or breast milk of a mother is coconut water. It's the only structure that even come half close to the structure of galactose or to the structure of what you will call human milk. So I'm not saying that you can't drink water. I mean, obviously we drink well, I'm drinking water now. <laughs> But would I have rather had some juice that came from fruits? Hell yeah. So that's all I'm saying. What people do is they took a hour and they took a two hour and 30 minute lecture I did. They snipped out 17 seconds of it and they ran with it. It was on Hollywood Unlocked. It was on Say Cheese. It was on some of the biggest hip hop networks I ever seen. But why couldn't they do that with all the positive things I did? Why couldn't they well, do that with the, the healing that, testimony? Baby. We know the you see, answer to but that. You, but you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it so, didn't fit the narrative. So, so we got to quit chasing the narrative though Pe common sense and culture from any intelligent being i would have said he sound crazy as hell but this only a snippet where's the whole video for i can see why this very intelligent man said that it had to be a reason behind it that's what i would have did and then when i listened to the whole video i would have said hey he owned something let me do more research and in fact let me do a 30 day juice fast and not drink no water. And you will see that you are, you are more hydrated doing it that way. And I have a hundred thousand people right now on nothing but juice. I post it all the time on my Instagram. So when I say that drinking water is unnatural, I'm saying it's unnatural in the state as why would I go drink water when bulk water when I can get the same primary, uh, highly, highly alkaline water from my fruits and from my Eat your water been around for a hundred years. Meaning that it's other people that thought the same thing. These things are just not spread upon media because it goes against the water agenda. If I'm telling you get your water from fruits and vegetables and you de you decide to grow a fruit and vegetable tree and you stop buying bottled wa bottle water, which is ain't nothing but tap water, and you already ain't drinking your tap water, then how would the water companies like Coca-Cola and them make over $3 trillion a year? It's an agenda high in the mountains and that come from trees. And this come from, I mean, thousands of feet deep within the earth and is usually tapped into a glacier that is very very highly organized water but half of us ain't more not even one percent of us have access to that water the access to water you have is tap water that you think is spring water that's coming from uh, uh plastic bottles that's not even freaking bpa free so stop playing y'all arguing with me when i'm trying to give y'all a way to drink naturally filtered water that's highly structured and keep you from drinking tap water like come on man it don't